Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna clean up what's on top of the car and get stuck into taking the diff out and the front um, cross member and hopefully get it onto the rotisserie. My son wanted to fix his car first. I'll let him do that and then I'll get back to mine. Okay, with the top of the car cleaned off and the front, I'll get the front window out and the back window. I already get this seal out. I pull that out and then the rubber seal will come out. I'll push the window at the same time and hopefully I can get it out without breaking the window. So I tried getting the window out with the rubber without trying to cut the rubber but it's proven to be a bit difficult so I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to replace all the rubbers, the back window, the front window and the doors. All the seals are getting replaced so I'll just cut this one out make it easier for me. With both windows out, the front and back, without smashing them, I can move on to doing a diff. So we'll get that out now. Okay, I've got the car jacked up and on car stands, so I'll get this diff out. I won't record it because I don't want to bore you too much, so camera trick. And the diff is out. If anyone's wanted a diff, let me know. Because I've got this one, Oops, I just whipped my shirt. Shit. Uh, I've got this one that's been cleaned up and painted. That will be going in my Gemini. So we'll move to the front, get this out of the way, and it's getting closer to getting on to the rotisserie. Okay, with the front suspension out and the cross member, the shell. Well, it's just a shell now. There's nothing in it. So I'll get the rotisserie on it now. And I'll show you guys how it bolts up. I've got a homemade rotisserie. So for anyone that's doing a Gemini that wants the measurements, I'll take it next time because I can't find my tape measure. And I'll make a video of it for you guys. So, but for now, I'll go get the rotisserie, the front end and show you guys how it bolts up so i've got the front part here uh, on either side here and here it bolts to the front of the car on these here
Yeah, now I've got it on the rotisserie, the front end anyway. Uh, I've got the this cross part that holds it up. I've got a well, I've got some wheels coming in the mail. I'm gonna put the rotisserie on wheels so it's easier to move the car in and out and around in the garage. But for now, I'm just putting it on the rotisserie so I can start doing work under the car. Now I'm out the back. Uh, the bolt's up here on either side and where the back bar goes, just here, that's where it bolts to, the two bolts on either side. So I'll get that on and then we can lift it up and put the other part of the rotisserie on. So that part's on. Now I've got to use the engine crane to lift the back of it because it's too heavy to lift by hand. So I'll get the engine crane out, lift it up, put it on the rest, the T piece, and then we'll be able to spin around and have a look under it. Okay, I've got it on the rotisserie now. I had to use the car stands to keep it balanced because it's a little off balance at the moment. So we'll, I'll turn it around and we'll have a look underneath it. So I got it turned over and it looks pretty good under here. No rust as well apart from the other spots where I have said previously like here. Oh my camera's about to die. And down on that side there. But we'll soon tell when I've grinded it back cleaned it all up with a wire wheel I may even do some of that tomorrow 